Pisces. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another, whoa, <laughs> another Pisces tarot reading. Pisces love tarot reading. Pisces love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Pisces love messages reading. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, their feelings for you, your feelings for them. Who's making what move, if any? Really, that's also dependent on the kind of connection you're in. Are you on a twin flame journey? Are you not? You know, wherever you are. Soulmates, I never know where readings are going to go. So let's take a look and see what is going on with the person that is coming through here today. It's the Hermit and the Six of Cups. Wow. Wow. So I'll tell you what, it's somebody who is definitely thinking a lot about you. This is what's on their mind in this Hermit energy. Somebody who's spending a lot of alone time reflecting on you, thinking of the good times. I want to say of everything. The soul connection energy is real strong. Soulmate energy. If you're on a twin flame journey, it's here. Could also be that you have known this person for many, many years. But of course, it can also just be that feeling around it. That's the Six of Cups energy. The Sun and Scorpio. So here's the thing. There is reunion energy here. Pisces. This is somebody who is making plans to communicate. It sure looks like it. Or are they just imagining it, dreaming about it? It's looking like they might be trying to if they haven't already. And what else is coming through? Like what communicate about what here only today in person via message this hermit energy virgo and mercury energy it's where you know this is also by the way a validation of the no contact no communication and or in separation i mean it's just really clear between you but this is also where the person who i'm channeling it i feel like is spending a lot of time this is where they are and it's where you go for clarity personal truth and you get out of there and you turn that wheel of fortune, which is a turning point. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy, and things start to change, you know. And it's a real strong validation of the deep soulmate energy here, the deep soul connection that this person feels with you, that I feel is going on here. A destiny is intertwined energy. And it's somebody who I feel like really does want to make contact. The question is, are they getting out of here and making it? Because... I mean, you could be here a long time too. You know, you could sit here in this hermit energy, daydreaming in the Six of Cups and never make a move. So is it somebody who is? Is it coming through here today in your reading what they have to say to you? Is it coming in person? Is it coming via message? And what exactly do they have to say? Okay. They came and they went. <laughs> Maybe they come back. Maybe they don't. The cards. I guess you could say everything here. Pisces, I'm channeling for you in May 2024, and you could be here in May 2024 in real time. You could also be here many months or years later, and that's because this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. It's a faded connection between you and I. You're here because there is some kind of message for you. So welcome again. I'm really glad that you've made your way here. Let's take a look at this energy. It's the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Whoa. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they definitely want to communicate. Getting out of that hermit energy, spinning that wheel of fortune. I, I think there might be some kind of message coming through. It is coming through here today. I'll tell you what, they are thinking about life with you. Thinking, I want to say, yeah, about developing more, maybe going back. Were you in a long-term commitment with this person? Was it on the table where were you already building it or was it on the table? Because it's on their mind. It's the King of Swords. Very much on their mind. Gemini and Mercury energy. But this is also around communication, of course. Gemini, you know, all about communication and information. Studying, you could say the truth, moves to make Mercury the ruling planet for both Virgo 
which is here, Virgo ruled by Mercury as well. So the Mercury energy. Gemini and Virgo both, of course, share Mercury. The ruling planet, planet of the mind, planet of communication. This is someone who really has future energy, commitment energy on their mind with you. Is this something they're coming through with? Because we know they've been reflecting on things, getting honest with themselves. Oh my gosh, and that hermit energy and also just being really in their head over you in the Six of Cups. Okay. Pisces, all your Zodiac readings are below in the description. You'll find the playlists also on the channel, of course, and all 12 Zodiac signs. You will also find all signs tarot readings. These are love readings for the collective. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long, in-depth, very specific twin flame readings. So your energy, if you're on a twin flame journey, always comes through in the love tarot and the Zodiac readings, but they're not specific, you know? So always take what's for you and let the rest go. And if you want to explore further readings and really dig into your Twin Flame journey, you can reach those also below. Remember, it's a general tarot reading. Always take what's for you and let the rest go. And I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so much, Pisces. Let's look at this energy coming in. Whoa, judgment and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, okay, so most definitely waking up, <laughs> realizing how they feel about you. By the way, this is somebody I also feel who was waking up literally in the night. The page of swords energy is coming through really strong for me. So it's like looking at their phone or maybe it's their computer, but this is somebody who is really reflecting on you. Just thinking a lot about their love for you, your connection, the past, how you came to meet. What does this mean? Oh, seeing, talking again. Where are you at in this connection? I'll tell you, they're waking up. <laughs> they're waking up also again, literally in the night. Judgment is here. Crown chakra energy, I know. And it's coming here with the wheel of fortune, by the way, who is connected to the throat chakra I speak. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy here. And by the way, that's an energy of, that's already been coming in. So this is somebody who is getting out of that reflecting energy uh, in the night. It feels real strong for me. Somebody who's looking at their phone, looking at their computer, spending a lot of time, maybe even in the wilderness alone. Because that Herman energy is both a separation, but it's the person here with that Six of Cups energy, you on their mind, who's waking up in the night, who's waking up in general, realizing some big decisions in their life, who they love. Judgment is Archangel Gabriel, the angel for messages, the herald of visions, telling the person that's coming through here today, wake up, what do you want? Make a decision. So there's some apologetic energy here. Why? It's not clear at all for me exactly what's been going on. Is it just around the separation, the timing? Obviously, but what? But this is also somebody who's getting clarity and truth. And I do feel they're getting out of that energy and wanting to bring that to you. So it could be for some of you that, yeah, you're, you're just going to hear it here today in this reading. It could also be that there are phone calls or messages, maybe even appearances in person, if that's possible. That's not clear yet. So let's get in and see exactly what's going on. But yeah, <laughs> this is somebody who is for sure waking up and having a lot of realizations and is turning this wheel of fortune. A turning point, fate and destiny. Somebody who is seeing their destiny intertwined with you. They feel like they've known you forever and maybe some of you have in the 3D, but this is also the soul connection. They're seeing you as their other half. It's deep soulmate energy here and it's somebody who's just literally in their head for you trying having <laughs> the strong wake-up energy and by the way judgment archangel gabriel is specifically connected as well to the sacral chakra i feel as well as the third eye chakra i see the awareness how do they feel what are they, what plans are they making here? 
What do they want to say? Okay, that's yours. It's the Five of Wands. It's a really interesting energy to come in. Saturn and Leo energy. So there's some... Um, Something slowing this down, something that's been in the way. Saturn is the planet of structure, rules. Obstacles, lessons that need to be learned. We could be connecting to karmic situations. What are the obstacles, you know? It's here. Okay, let's go in, Pisces. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Pisces needs to see. Aho. The moon in reverse. That's you, Pisces. That's you. Also, Cancer and Gemini coming through. And you know what else that is? That is the truth, and that's clarity. It's right here in the partnership placement. Ten of Cups. That's also your energy. Judgment is back, but it's in reverse. This is where they've been. They have not been confident to share how they feel. Be honest with themselves. Be honest with you. Because this is somebody who is really stuck in their head, who has been afraid of, of I don't know, what are they afraid of changing? What are they afraid of owning up to? Because judgment is, is here in reverse where their energy is the strongest. So it's like the past and also the current energy. But we saw that incoming energy. You can't unsee that energy. Six of Cups, Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, the wake up energy, literally getting clarity about what they want. This is what they want, life with you. So were you in a life together? Had you built a life together? Were you building it wasn't on the table? This is still, this is, there's something, this, there's obviously something that's slowing it down obstacles and challenges. Is it just around ego, lack of confidence? Maybe. Maybe it's just around commitment, energy, fear of that. It could be that there's other things or people or situations here. I mean, that's just clear for lack of a better, well, I want to say pun intended because <laughs> that's also the moon in reverse energy. You know, the moon, of course, is connected to the third eye chakra, I see, the awareness. And it's in reverse here, so it's interesting because judgment came back in reverse. And this is the past and the current energy for me. It's what somebody has just been hiding from you, hiding from themselves. Uh, but we know that you're completely on their mind. They've been waking up literally in the night, and they're also aware of how they feel about you and what they want. <laughs> that much is just really clear. So what have the obstacles been really is the question. Is it just around the Wheel of Fortune is back? Is it the Sun is here? The Three of Cups in reverse. The Five of Cups. Oh, gosh. That's, yeah, that's really clear there. Is this just around ego, commitment issues, or is there, are there other, what are the obstacles here? What are the challenges here? Are there other connections? It could be even karmic situations we're looking at here. I tell you, look though, it's the wheel of fortune is back. The wheel of fortune is back here. So turning point, literally, they're getting this truth and clarity now. That's the thing, because this is the past and, and the current energy, but we also saw what is coming in. What do they want you? You Pisces, 10 of cups, this is your energy. Mars and Pisces energy, and it's connected with the sun. It's connected with the sun, Leo energy source, God. Goddess, the universe, the divine, what does that mean for you? It's a new cycle, so getting out for sure of the no contact, no communication, and or in separation is what's on their mind. Is that possible? There's there's some minor arcana energy here, but it could be major too. Major as in the issues, I want to say what's been holding this back, because this is what's on their mind. The sun, of course, connected to the solar plexus chakra, the I do, the movement, the power, the energy around that, you know? I mean, and it's catty corner to judgment, which is telling us that, yeah, there has been some fear here, somebody who's been afraid to change something. So we're going to get some more in a moment. Whether that is around a particular situation that they're living in, could be people, things they're doing. Really, I, you already know that. I don't think I need to tell you. We saw that they're really in 
that energy of the hermit and we saw it with the wheel of fortune coming in and now it's back here right in the partnership placement that they're in the process of waking up holding the mirror and getting clarity and truth for themselves they have been in an energy of being afraid to change something here whether it's changing right away or not i'll tell you what's really clear is that they want a life with you whether you were in a life together you had built it you were building it or it was on the table for them if this is still this is what's on their mind here and this is your energy mars and pisces energy it's the move they want to make look all the hopeful energy here now this could be around family energy of having built a life or wanting to or having maybe you were doing it but that can also include in just going into going exclusive or introducing families blending families you know next level whatever that means for you there is a turning point here it's getting out of this we already saw that and boy look at the regret for being afraid to change things here and for maybe i want to say for what they did so what is is there is there a third party i kind of feel like there is your person for sure but is there another external third party it does feel that way regardless of what it is it could also be that some of the third party energy i'm feeling is somebody that might even have some overconsumption energy like you could say some addictive energy that's maybe overdoing something and maybe it contributed to some things that were said and also not said and if this is an in-person energy for you this might have been some arguing that went on in person like you could say at a family event or even around friends but it's also an energy around communication in general. So whether it was in person or this discord kind of happened via through text messages or social media or a phone call even, whatever. The three of cups, Mercury and Cancer energy, you know, and it's in reverse. And Mercury, of course, is around communication. But also telling me that they weren't thinking when they said, said something okay said some things too there are some things they said that they regret and they're sorry about that's a real clear here in our five of cups mars and scorpio energy this is uh, the person here who is full of regret for for leaving you making you feel like they didn't love you because we just saw that in the six of cups is just not true this is somebody who i feel loves you and wants a life with you whether you had it or you or you didn't yet it's some, something here that obviously is still on their mind it's still here and you're both still here in each other's energy here in our five of cups of course we're seeing the two of cups venus and cancer so you haven't let each other go but there's obviously some obstacles going on here so for example again somebody might be in some addictive energy it may have played a part and we could also be looking at third party in the way of people you know we could be talking about people that are interfering we could also be looking at somebody in another situation whatever it is it's here and there is the commitment energy here the lack of confidence in revealing what they want how they feel an apology as well this is somebody who's been afraid to change something in their life so whether that's just around getting out of being single or changing a situation that's no longer serving them that they you've been waiting on again we could be talking about things that they're doing that are not good but obviously they're also being they have been holding they've been in not apologizing too and been in some denial here and have been afraid but we saw judgment coming in with the wheel of fortune real strong and coming energy with the hermit and the six of cups of them getting the clarity and the truth that's like downloads they're getting right now is the feeling that's coming through for me and the regret for leaving you feeling like they didn't love you not communicating i'm sorry for the things i said i'm sorry i miss you i miss you too and i regret these things i regret how i left things i regret leaving i regret ghosting you or pulling away i regret leaving you feeling like i didn't love you because i do i still do i love you too i still love you too and is there this is what's on my mind what about you where are you at hope literally <laughs> this is them coming in here hoping this is a he really healing energy a really healing energy stars aligning energy seeing this as if this these are coming in they're yours 
Okay, seeing this as a faded connection, fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Also, by the way, the star, of course, connected to the crown chakra. I know. I know what this is. I'm having hope. I know what I want. Ten of Cups. I'm having hope that I'm not too late. I know I've been afraid. I know I also owe you a huge apology. I'm try I'm getting out of this hermit energy and I'm spinning that wheel of fortune. I do want to to communicate with you. That is literal in the sense here, in particular with the wheel of fortune, of course, connected to the throat chakra communication. And we saw that, you know, getting out of that hermit energy and spinning that. And the Wheel of Fortune is connected to Jupiter, which is your ruling planet, Pisces, the planet of prosperity and expansion. Lots of hopeful energy around that. Information, wisdom, growth, things being able to move forward. Luck, turning point for the both of you. But I always think of that as timing, too. And it is. It's like stars aligning here in our star energy. Renewal healing energy, hopeful energy for the two of you. What does this mean for timing? It could be that there are timing issues here for you in terms of what else might be going on here, whether it's addictive energy, other connections, location, also something for some of you here. Long distance energy is, is coming through. The star is an eight, you know, and that is an action number. It is also connected to some karma and truth and balance and renewal. The Page of Wands in reverse, Eight of Wands, there's the communication. This, whoa, yeah, okay. So here is a really strong validation for ghosting, not communicating, saying things that hurt you, leaving you feeling like they didn't love you. They're sorry. I'm just going to bring in a little side energy here, okay? I don't know who this is for. I don't always bring it through, but it's for someone. This could also be entailing leaving a particular karmic situation, okay? I'm going to leave it at that, but it was just really clear. Somebody who's afraid of that, who... Yeah, okay. So that, that energy has come through. But this is also a, very clearly around what they are regretting for... The Eight of Cups, you know, Saturn and Pisces energy. It's your energy. And Saturn is the planet of structure, rules, tradition, obstacles, lessons that need to be learned. Some karmic energy too, but somebody who uh, abandoned you, left. The connection, I feel like. the emo Emotionally too, that's the other thing. S was not emotionally available, you know, not being honest around their emotions as well about how they, maybe how they feel, how they were communicating or the lack thereof. Because we saw that coming in. It's just clear that it's somebody who's all in their feels for you. That's where that is. Page of Wands in reverse. You know, it's student energy, kind of a little bit immature, struggling energy coming here with our major arcana. It's where things have been. Judgment in reverse, the moon in reverse. Like they're they're getting the downloads and the clarity now. A lot of hopeful energy. It's like fingers crossed energy. Star in the Ten of Cups in the Sun, really wanting a chance to have this life with you. Uh, timing does feel like it's an issue here. So it's a matter of I guess when somebody's ready, somebody's not. Somebody's available, somebody's not. Third party energy is strong for me. It's around your person. It's around for some of you addictive energy and it could also be other people. We could be looking again at interference in the way of, yeah, people interfering, family of origin, but we could also be looking at third party, you could say contracts in the way of romance. Definitely trying to get the courage to communicate here. That has just been really clear as well. This is somebody who it's coming through here now how they feel about you, what they're still hoping for with you, totally you are <laughs> on their mind, in their head. Wanting desperately also to communicate. The strength card, Leo energy source, God, goddess, the universe, the divine, coming here with the eight of wands. The strength card is connected to the heart chakra. And it's here with the eight of wands. So 
really, really trying to get the strength to come here and tell you how they feel about you, what they're still, you could say, kind of hoping for here. Also, the apologetic energy is really strong and it's connected to judgment in reverse. So yeah, things that were said, things that were not said, definitely hurting you, regretting leaving you, feeling like they didn't love you because I really feel that they do. And what else is in this judgment energy? Has there been something else that they've not been held accountable for or that they've been lying about? This Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius energy, is this is communication, you know, and it's coming in really fast energy. It's coming in here today. But it could be for some of you that this is in real time as well. It's, you know, kind of going to change, going to kind of change a lot of things here. Mercury, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication is oftentimes connected to reading and writing. So we could be looking at if it's not possible to see each other, which is, I think, not, it is the case for, for a lot of you. It could be around SMS, social media, email. But definitely trying to get the courage around that. And I want to tell you, too, there is a, this is somebody, too, who really wants the life with you here, Pisces. I, whether you were in it or it was just you're still working on it or it was on the table, it's like a dreamy energy. They're almost, it's almost like I'm, a, I'm, yeah, so I don't know if this is just around the fear of commitment or that there's something else going on and it's a dreamy energy that they can't quite reach. Kind of feel like you're going to, well, I, you're going to know what that is because this is also this energy of really, like really wanting everything with you and it's connected to the minor arcana energy but it is some and with the queen of wands in reverse and the five of wands that is telling me that there's some confidence issues but there's also some things here that are still kind of trying to be worked out obstacles again and challenges i want to move the energy a little bit so it's both around the fear of revealing their feelings really strong but also whatever else is going on. And by the way, eight of wands here with the strength card in eight, that's an 88 and that is butterfly energy. That's new stage energy. So it's transformational energy. It's dark to light energy. So information coming to you that you're hearing here now, information downloads that I feel like they're receiving here. It's also somebody being able to get out of some ego and by the way, there, look at this, the Eight of Cups too. So then we have 888. That's really interesting because that's also, that's also the person here connecting with God. God is the universe, the divine, okay? It's the downloads that they're getting. It's really, really strong. It's goosebumpy. It's in that hermit energy. What do I want? It's like, and the judgment and the wheel of fortune that came in with that and the six of cups like really going in and what do I really want here in the future really getting the downloads really connecting with the universe because that's also an energy in our 888 like 888 excuse me like uniting with the universe energy like really just going in and figuring out what they want what is for them where are the stars leading me it's to you it's to you and on a side note, it is, this is yours. It is also this energy of them taking responsibility and apologizing and stepping up for the decisions that they made. So reassessing their past actions, getting their priorities straight and taking the appropriate actions. Whether we're talking about coming together now or later, whatever that is, the apology is coming through for you here now and this admission that this is what they want. They are reevaluating, reassessing. Yeah, so this is the delay in that. I mean, it's not surprising. Look, it's more wand energy, matters of the heart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy connecting here with the Queen of Wands in reverse. So oh. the last, I just looked up and was saying Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy connecting with the Queen of Wands in reverse. So some of the lack of confidence and the delays around communicating and also making some pretty big decisions. And I looked up and the camera wasn't recording. That makes me crazy. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What else does Pisces need to see? Aho. Queen of Cups. 
I like this. This is a really sincere apology. Cancer energy, really healing energy. This is, yeah, just somebody who knows that they were emotionally unavailable. They were not being honest. They were hurtful. Lots of apologetic energy here. Things that were said, things that were not said. I really like this. It's a sincere apology. Really sincere. And somebody here who is who is genuinely sorry for hurting you, breaking your heart, who cannot stop thinking about you, who knows what they want. Why? What are all the reasons for that? The Queen of Swords, there's the truth. Oh my gosh. Which they're getting. Here also, the truth, clarity, the truth coming in the moon in reverse. So coming for your person, also what they're wanting to say to you right here now. And possibly in an actual message. If it's not possible to see each other in person, which for some of you it is, emperor energy. This is the move that they are making. Again, what's around the timing issue? The emperor likes to get their way. <laughs> Aries and Mars energy. The root chakra, I am. A very centered energy. It's an upright here. They have the ankh in their nose. Divine feminine, divine masculine energy. So I like this because it's, we all have divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And it's the balancing of that. You know, the emperor here who is getting strong, strong, strong downloads about how they feel. What they need to do, they need to be honest with you about their feelings. They need to apologize here. They need to be honest with themselves. Really, really strong energy here. So this information is coming through here right now in your reading. And for some of you, this is also coming, I want to say, possibly at a family event if you are connected in that way. And or social media, SMS, email. Getting out of the no contact look, King of Swords in the world. Ten of Wands in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah. So this is the, you could say some more of the delay, kind of the lack of confidence energy around communicating. It's the Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. And it's in reverse. So it's kind of like messages that were sent and then deleted or phone calls, you know. And just also in their head because this is somebody who's in who's been reflecting, I don't know for how long, in that Hermit energy about spinning this Wheel of Fortune and communicating, which we know they're wanting to do. Really strong here with our Divine Masculine energy with our Emperor, who's been holding back feelings. Yeah, <laughs> who's been holding back a lot of feelings. You know, of course, just in the energy of the Emperor, it could be that that we're dealing with somebody who is an older man. It's not going to be for everybody. And even somebody who you could say is in a position of power, whether it's via a family or via some kind of work or money situation. So strong validations if you're on a twin flame journey. I know not everybody is, but I want to bring that through. But regardless, this is somebody who wants to either, the, wants a future with you. So again, whether you're going back into this 10 of cups energy or it's just putting it on the table for the possibilities. Getting out of the no contact look. Our King of Swords in reverse and our Queen of Swords. So they haven't been honest and they haven't been communicating. But it's coming here with the World card, which is changing that. It's a divine number, divine timing, communication. And this is life-changing decisions, getting closer to you, soulmate energy. So how they're, you could say how they're seeing you as a soulmate. This is like karmic debts paid, lessons learned obstacles out of the way. It's just a matter of timing, I feel like here, because that's the thing. It's divine number, divine timing. Somebody's ready, somebody's not. Somebody's available, somebody's not. But they're seeing their future literally with you. And we could be talking about marriage again and page of pentacles in reverse here. Yeah, so it's kind of like a, like a little bit of breakup energy. Yeah. It's connecting with the Five of Cups here. It just wanted to be revealed. So they're really sorry for that. They were behaving immaturely, and it does connect with what happened. But this is, the, this is the future that they're wanting with you here, and they know they ran from that. I don't know exactly what all the details are for you because I feel like there's a few scenarios that are going on here. But that's the future energy, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands in reverse, Jupiter and Sagittarius energy. So getting out of 
no contact, no communication, and or in separation, and some things changing in their life, in your life, whatever that's going to take. So there are some timing issues here to get out of that. Look at this here too. I mean, it's just clear because it's the imbalance around your person, but it's also telling me that you're both here. Kind of waiting <laughs> to hear this. They want a future with you. Again, I just feel like there's some timing issues here. So whether that's now putting a pin in it later, resuming where you were. Just want to move the energy a little and see if anything else wants to come in. Then we're going to bring in some channel bluff messages. The Seven of Cups coming in reverse. I like this. Venus and Scorpio energy. It's somebody coming out of, of the Seven of Cups, which is commitment issues. Could be around other, other choices, other things. Again, we could be looking at that energy that I've been feeling too for some. There's some kind of addictive energy. I don't think it's for everyone, but it is here. This is also holding a mirror up and getting out of some illusions and making some decisions here, whether they're affecting you now, because this is life-changing. Look at this. Or later, because that's also the moon in reverse. That's the clarity and the truth that they're getting. And it's getting out of this... I don't know, wishy-washy, taking too much time, energy. So whether it's around other people, commitment, other things, that's getting out of that. I like that. What else does Pisces need to see? Aho. And then we're going to bring in some... Whoa. What did I want to say? We're going to bring in some love messages. Nine of Cups. This is your energy, Pisces. This is your energy. One cup shy of the Ten of Cups here. Wish fulfillment. Were you there? Were you building it? Was it on the table? Something obviously happened, and that's it got the cup there. The Queen of Cups also has it. It's a healing cup. Jupiter and Pisces energy. Jupiter, the planet. Again, your ruling planet. Expansion, prosperity, things moving. Again, wishes fulfilled. Knowing how they feel knowing that they want a life with you and timing the truth. When is this coming? I do feel like there's timing stuff going on here, you know? But this is definitely what you've been needing to hear and what you've been wishing for. Look, it's connecting right with the Eight of Wands. So whether it's the, the, the information, literally the communication, the truth that you're hearing here right now, or this is coming in for you. Because this is an, an emperor energy, divine masculine energy, who's coming in here, opening up, healing, being really honest about what they want, and getting out of their illusions. Yeah, and being honest that they want life with you. Page of Cups energy. Heart on their sleeve energy. Also trying to figure out how to come. Tower. I don't love that. What's, what's going on with the tower energy? Aries. And um, Scorpio energy coming through, beginning and the end. Well, I'll tell you, there's some ego there, for sure. For some of you, it could be that. Yeah, it's tied to what they have been afraid to change here. They're kind of, you could say, kind of trying to avoid a tower moment. Has there been one with some of you? Maybe. The Empress is here and the Emperor. The Ten of Wands. In reverse between you, coming here on top of the Queen of Cups. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so the Emperor and the Empress. It's both a validation of the balanced energy around the person coming through here today that they want to be with you. Also, for some of you, I mean, it really, you were already in it or you were building it or it was on the table. That much is just really clear. It's also telling me that you're both here because, of course, that is the counterpart to the Emperor. And the counterpart to the Empress. And it is a super strong validation of a very sincere, honest apology, opening up emotional availability and opening up energy. And it's another strong validation that this is somebody who wants life with you. You either had it already, some of you may even have had a family together. It's not going to be for everybody. Whatever that's meaning for you, this is on the table. The Empress, Divine Feminine Energy, of course, and our Divine Masculine Energy here. Taurus, 
also bringing in Libra, Venus, the planet of love around timing, divine timing. So the timing energy here is really, really strong. Has access to all the elements, of course, and cre can create and grow anything. And the Empress is connected right here to the Queen of Cups, Cancer energy to lots of Mother Earth and healing energy. You could say, yeah, the family energy is really strong, whatever that's going to mean for you. Wanting, wanting a life with you is just so clear. And the Empress, by the way, connected to the Heart Chakra. Pisces, Ace of Wands. The Emperor is here again. The High Priestess. The Five of Wands in reverse, the Three of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Whoa. Okay, I'm just going to tell you off the bat that if there are other people involved, for example, a Divine Feminine Energy, Divine Masculine Energy, they are here. Okay, so that could be what we're looking at here. That is a fear around change. But we're also seeing a strong validation in our Emperor as well. High Priestess energy, more Divine Feminine energy. So again, there it could be that there is more energy here. Third party energy could be around specific people. Divine Feminine energy, Divine Masculine energy could be on both sides. It's a really strong validation if you're on a Twin Flame journey. I know, again, I know not everybody else is. But this is also the energy of, well, yeah, this is the person that's coming in here. It's like really wanting life with you. It's revealing a lot of feelings here, making decisions here. Also just the pull that of you together, the star and the high priestess here. The ace of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, kind of just this getting this inspiration to get things moving again. So whether it's just opening up via communication and then moving forward, it's strong. What you need to hear is here what moves are being made. I do feel like it's around timing, but this is somebody, again, it's just clear, and I feel like I have enough tarot. I, I just know already that if you can see each other, you're going to be three of cups. If you can hear from your person, you will be. It's just a matter of timing. So there are three of cups. Now it's coming here in the upright, Mercury and Cancer energy. There is a reunion energy here celebratory energy so if, if it's possible for coming together via friends and family then that's probably how this is going down but this is also connected to communication mercury reading and writing so sms social media email phone calls it's somebody who wants a life with you whether you were in it building it or it was on the table and here they are also in the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is a coming back in energy. Mercury and Taurus. It's somebody who really is hoping, hoping for, again, I just feel like hoping for a life with you, hoping for another chance. Divine timing, communication, growth, the victory wreath, really wanting you to know this, really wanting to I guess you could say win you back, win you over, win you. What does that mean? Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your Pisces? Yep, those three are yours. Is that coming? No. The pain of heartbreak I just can't bear. Your absence makes me gasp for air. I just saw that. Look, the Ace of Wands, the delay here has been in reverse. The delay in working things out. It's the Five of Wands here in reverse. Saturn and Leo energy. Because we need the Queen of Swords here. Coming in here with the truth. Wish fulfillment. Connected to the Eight of Wands. I mean, yeah, this communication, that world card energy, the Wheel of Fortune coming here again as well is going to change everything. It's just a matter of timing, I feel like. Look at this. The completion energy around the world card in itself is the timing around getting out of no contact, no communication, and or in separation, but also then getting into the completion of goals. And we could be talking about marriage. Of course, we'd be talking about extended family. We could be bringing in life, that sort of energy. 
You know, whatever that means for you, it is just going to be different. But it's somebody who is just getting so much clarity here and knows what they want. They want this life with you, whether you were there building it or it was on the table. I have a song playlist about you, us, connected right here with our emperor and our empress. I want to return, but I am a big chicken. That has been a whole lot of energy here. The judgment in reverse is, has come in in the upright, but then we saw it here in the reverse. It's the past and the current energy. And again, it could be around avoiding some kind of tower moment in their life. I will never have a connection like this with anyone else. It should say have. I trust the universe will bring us together. Stars aligning. It's the star energy and it's the world card. And it came here right with the Ten of Cups as well. It's like you belong together energy. It's just clear. I mean, and yeah, again, it could be that there, these third, this third party energy is even coming from both ends. Divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I'm ready to take all the blame. I'm not asking for a lot. All I want is for you to look into my eyes and say that everything will be okay. I kind of feel like that's also coming from your energy. And here they are answering that. I will make, I, I'll make things right. That's it. I really want you back in my life. This is also really, really clear. Really clear. I never should have let you go, Pisces. I hope you still love me. You are my favorite person. I listened to our song on repeat. I have a song playlist about you, us. I'm captivated by you. You're still on my mind every single day. I'm plotting our reunion. Yeah, strong, <laughs> really strong. Emperor twice here. Star, the Empress. The Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune twice, the World card, the Three of Cups, also reunion energy. That's right where it went as well. So whether that's around an in-person reunion or this is around communication. I never should have let you go. Oh, we saw that already. My throat chakra is going wild. No, I am not over you. My love is for you, nobody else. Heavy on the love messages today. That one just sunk in. Loved you yesterday. Love you still. Always have, always will. I saw someone that looked like you. It felt like you were here. So real specific messages start to come in. Always take what resonates for you. I did not expect to fall so in love with you. I wish I could tell you what is really going on in my life. I really do care. Please believe me. Sometimes I imagine just packing up and coming to you. The Tarot Closet Channeled Life Messages. I still want you. You are the love of my life. I was scared. Will you wait for me? You are my other half. I came through really strong. Soulmate energy, twin flame energy as well. What journey are you on? It was me, not you. 
I received your telepathic messages. You deserve so much more. So many songs remind me of you. Lots of energy around music here. So this is somebody who has a playlist, for sure, who's listening to music to kind of express their feelings. To themselves, what are you hearing? I received your telepathic messages. I feel like it's back and forth hearing music. You are so beautiful. A hug. Give me time. Will you wait for me? You are my biggest wish. It's nine of cups in the star energy. You are my other half. I want a life with you, Pisces. I'm yours. I'm sorry. I really want you back in my life. You set me on fire. I'm hiding my true feelings. Yes, they have been. Strong validation with both of our emperors here. The last channeled love message, message from their higher self, Pisces, it was me, not you. I was scared. Look, it's here again. It was me, not you. So a strong validation connected with I was scared and you are the love of my life. Pisces, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm sending you love and light as always. Hoping for the best outcome for you. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Pisces.